Hi everybody, this is Glenn Gerhauser from Holy Fire Ministry Training School and today I want to talk to you about part two of how to recognize false teaching. And I've been giving you guidelines on how to recognize false teaching and in part one I talked about the first guideline and the second guideline. Now I'm going to develop the second guideline a little bit more and talk about the next three. Another thing that I've been concerned about is some people have talked about the Father so much that they make Jesus out to be like a, a doormat that leads you to the Father. That Jesus is not important, what's really import important is the Father. No, both the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are important because the Father is God, the Holy Spirit is God, as well as Jesus is God. God is one in three and three in one. So Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And when you come to the Father, you find that the Father points you to Jesus. And when you come to Jesus, you'll find that Jesus glorifies his Father. There's no competition between the persons of the Godhead. So the first point, be word-based. The second point, be Jesus-centered. Is it Jesus-centered? And for the third and fourth point, I want us to think of a road. And you can, uh, the truth is like a road, it's like a straight, narrow way, but you can veer off to the left and you can veer off to the right. Now, the third guideline is this. Watch out for liberalism. And here I'm not meaning political liberalism, but theological liberalism. It's a thought and a mindset that anything goes. You can, you're forgiven by God, and because you're forgiven by God, you can sin all you want. Jude 1.4 warns us of this when uh, Jude says, they are ungodly people who pervert the grace of our God into a license for immorality and deny Jesus Christ our only sovereign and Lord. Notice how he says they pervert the grace of God. They change it into a license for immorality. In, in other words, a license to sin. Now this is veering off to the left and at, at both sides of these roads are, are a big ditch. And if you veer off to the left, to this liberalism, anything goes attitude, I can sin all I want because of the grace of God, this is also false teaching. Now on the right side, fourth guideline is watch out for legalism. This is what Paul says, you who are trying to be justified by the law have been alienated from Christ. You have fallen away from grace. Now, legalism is the absence of intimacy with God. It makes your whole righteousness based on the law and keeping rules and regulations. While in the New Testament, righteousness is based on your faith in Jesus Christ. You receive His righteousness to replace your righteousness, which is faulty. And what you'll find with legalism is that you're under this heavy weight of the law, but you can never make yourself righteous before God. Now, you are in the new covenant, you are not under the law, nor are you above the law. Rather, the law, God's law, is written on your heart. And it's summed up in two commandments, love God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. And so God writes this law on your heart. Always keep intimacy with Jesus. That's the secret to keeping away from legalism. You see, the truth is grace empowered, love motivated, and faith focused. And this brings me to the fifth and last guideline. Is this teaching spirit led? Is the spirit of God teaching us? Jesus said it like this, but when he, the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all truth. You see, it's the Holy Spirit's role to guide us into all truth. Without that guidance, we may think we know the Word. Oh, I know the Word, but without the Spirit, we don't have any illumination. We don't have revelation. We don't know how to apply the Word. So I want to encourage you, the Holy Spirit will keep you on that straight and narrow way. God bless you. I hope these five guidelines help you. 
In just less uh, than two weeks, we have our new semester for Bible school, the Kingdom Unit starting up. Check it out, the 29th of January, Monday. You can come to our opening night where we introduce the school to you and uh, the doors are open on the opening night. You can also check out holyfireschool.com, register there. We'd love you to be a part of the semester and you will go deeper in the word and you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. God bless you. This is Glenn Gerhauser from Holy Fire Ministry Training School in the center of Brisbane City. Have a wonderful day.